Good morning, everybody. My name is Success. Today, I will be reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 33, from verse 12 to verse 22. And it says, What joy for the nation whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne, he observes all who lives on the earth. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory for all its strength it cannot save you but the lord watches over those who fear him those who rely on his unfailing love he re- he rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine we put our hope in the lord he is our help and our shield in him our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name let your unfailing love surround us lord for our hope is in you alone amen good morning harlech baptist church welcome to our youth service this morning let us begin by reading from psalm chapter 9 verses 1 and 2. i will praise you lord with all my heart i will tell all the miracles you have done I will be happy because of you, God Most High. I will sing praises to your name. Let us glorify God this morning. Let us remember that he is a faithful and he is an amazing God. We know that we've had a tough year. We know that many of you have had tough months and maybe a tough week. But in the midst of everything, we know that he is a faithful father. And we know that he is always there for us in the midst of the most toughest and difficult of situations. I also want us to remember today that our young people have uh, put this youth service for us to be encouraged, for us to remember that we have hope in God. And as we remember and as we um, enter into God's presence uh, with all the different things that the youth have put together for us today, let us also remember our young people. Uh, I encourage you to to pray for them, whether you are parents or aunts or grandparents, or whether you don't have children of your own. Just when you think of a young person or you think of young people in general, remember to pray for them. This um, situation is also hard for them. They are not made to be isolating. They need their friends. And so I encourage you to, to pray for them, to remember them. Let us pray together. Father, we thank you that you are a faithful God. We thank you that your love is uh, everlasting and infinite and unconditional. Lord, we do thank you for our young people. We pray for them. We'll lift them up to you, Father. May your presence always be with them. May you reach them and touch them in a way that they know that you are real, oh God, in a way that none of us can, but that you can. Father, I thank you for them. And I also thank you for everyone around us, for our families, for our congregation. Father God, that they may sense your presence today and that may be ministered by your word in this morning. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So now let's take time to just welcome each other, to greet, sorry, to greet one another. Uh, You're encouraged every Sunday to send a text message, to give someone a phone call, to um, pray for someone, but just to reach out to someone. I know that I haven't seen some of you for over a year now. Could you believe it? We haven't seen each other for a very, very long time. So um, let's keep in touch. Uh, let's use social media and phone calls to do just that, to remind one another that even though we are not seeing each other in person, we are still connected uh, as a church family. Okay, so take time to greet one another uh, throughout this time. Also, let us uh, remember that we are going to we're offering now. I know that um, the church is truly blessed by the faithfulness of the people that come to church to give on a regular basis. 
Uh, they are blessed by the people that continue to use the Tidly app. I know I'm grateful for that. Um, just be, we're thankful for all the faithfulness of all the people in the congregation that give uh, in whatever way they can. I know um, Pastor Mario, my husband Mario, um, has been uh, telling me all the amazing things about the church and how uh, all the money has been raised for the fundraiser. And it's truly amazing how uh, in the midst of difficult situations, our church is still a very faithful church. So just remember to continue to give on a regular basis and may God bless you uh, as you are faithful to your giving. Let us pray. Father, we thank you uh, for your faithfulness. We thank you for the faithful hearts and faithful giving of a congregation. We thank you that as they give freely to you, as they bless from the blessings that you give to them, Father God, that you continue to bless them. I pray, Father God, for those who uh, need jobs, that you will bless them and you will open doors for them to have jobs. Father, I pray, Father God, that you speak to people as to where they can bless and to give and to bless those around them. We thank you that in all things we look to you for our source of income, that we look to you for our source of provision. We thank you for all these things in Jesus' name. And now, check out our heartbeat by one of our awesome young persons. 